Against the history of European imperialism, American colonization, forced native relocation to reservations and native boarding schools, and the effects of the physical and cultural holocaust to the native ways of life is the current impact of cultural imperialism. Defined loosely as the manner by which the dominant culture imposes and educates their beliefs of value, a quick look at the structure of American education and the Western University shows a few immediate and dissonant constructs of value that require immediate investigation. If an increase in native student and faculty success or respectful acknowledgement of native cultures across American society is to be imagined. When I uh, was in the public school systems and my educational experience started out here in Stockbridge, Michigan. And in those days, the references were still in the history books, uh, the references to godless pagans, bloodthirsty heathens. Uh, and every time that those words came up in the book, the students in the class would all turn and look at me because I was the only native student in the school system. I have a student right now, she's Odawa, she emails me twice a week and says, I can't get out of bed today. I won't be in class today. I can't get out of bed. Loneliness, alienation in a system that doesn't accommodate us in any way. It's a real test of fortitude to get through college as a native student. All of that public school experience set the precedence that when the possibility came to attend college, I, I couldn't imagine four more years of that gauntlet or eight years or whatever it was, I just couldn't do it. Many Native people are very uh, reluctant uh, to come to school. Education, a direct result of the boarding schools. Education was a place you went to lose your identity. You lost your language, you lost your culture, and you were probably gonna be sexually abused and definitely spiritually and psychologically abused. So education got a bad rap. I would like to see at University of Michigan a boarding school survivors therapist program set up in every major college in the country so that people are equipped to handle the mental health issues that Indians have. From December to March, twenty one children from the age of nine to fifteen committed suicide. Because they feel the world is hopeless and there's no reason for them to go on. Uh, we have the highest suicide rate uh, in our youth, among our youth of any other ethnic group in the United States. So I found out this student was homeless. I said, where are you living? He said, in my car. And I said, um, what are you gonna do in the winter? He said, I don't know, I think I'll couch hop. but to your family. Mm -hmm. when we, and our, um, when we say family, I'm not saying just blood relatives. You know, it's the obligation to the community. So if you have a death, you know, okay, so it might not be what's considered the norm of the immediate family, but if I'm required to be there for that four day ceremony, I'm required to be there. That's my responsibility. I have a responsibility I have to take care of. And it's not that I don't want to take care of this other responsibility. I might need some help on figuring out how to balance those. This is the essence of the difference between us, I think, and non-natives. Native people are taught to think for themselves, but always act for the good of the group. Mainstream society is taught, think like the group and act in your own self-interest. And this is ex what it boils down to in essence. There is no such thing as a common American experience. 
you might say, um, well, since you're here, you must know this, you must have had that, there's got to be something common in your background that makes you like me. When in fact, who you're born to and when you're born and what you believe in this world puts you at a far different spot on the entry plane when you walk in these doors. A lot of students feel that individual competition um, yes. among students is a very um, different kind of experience. There's a lack of, a, lack of respect um, between the students with one another in general. Uh, one student said that something that I was taught was that everyone has something to teach someone else. Um, it's, an, it's a matter of respect and not everyone can do everything but we can all do something. And they felt that coming to the university really, that was a, a really difficult environment to kind of like a shock all of a sudden that to be immediately in competition with your peers. This model of um, Western education organized around individual achievement and the rewards being personal advancement and higher income doesn't fly necessarily with Native people. We are taught materialism is not something we value, capitalism is not something we value either. When you think of education since the day, you know, um, we've encountered Europeans, it was all about us acquiring their knowledge, adapting to their way of life, adapting to their value system, adapting to their language. Stop being Anishinaabe. Stop thinking that way. And then adapt. And a lot hasn't changed. <laughs>